Next question is Bar- uh, from Barkley Sankova. Any tips for college students on how to manage school, work, training, social activities, family, and not get crazy? <laughs> yeah, you know what the problem is with have kids a kid. Now. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know what the, really fine time you know what the problem is with kids these days? Here we go. Old man rant. Here yeah. we go. They, th- they, they think they can have everything. Like everything. You know what I mean? Like, hey, how do I balance building a business yeah. and partying with my friends or how do I, you know, and if I can't do it, maybe I sh- shouldn't do it. You know? There's, there's you, it's priorities and you got to balance it out. And look, here's the deal with exercise. And this is very true. Two full body workouts a week, three full bodies of wor- workouts a week, max will give you great muscle building benefits. So if you're a college student, you want to lift weights, you want to build muscle, but you also obviously have a crazy schedule and there's other priorities. Just go to the gym twice a week, do a bunch of compound lifts, train your full body, and you'll get great results doing that. Now, will it be better if you did a three days full body or maybe, yeah, probably, but two days a week is not much. It's only two, two and a half hours total a week and and that's all you got to do. Yeah, well, you got to you got to manage the things that you can manage, right? You're not going to change school, you're not going to change work. Your work schedule is your work schedule if so long as you have to, right? If you have to work to pay the bills and do things with, as most people have to, mm-hmm. uh, you're going to have your work schedule, nothing's going to change there. Uh, school if you're going through your degree, uh, you're going to have to go to your classes, you're going to have to study to pass your tests, like those things are not really controllables here. <laughs> like you you're, you're going to have to do it. You can become more efficient, sleep better so you're more productive at work and Make sure you're studying like you're supposed to to be be more efficient at school and not waiting till last minute. But as far as time in that, you're you're going to probably have to spend that. When there's nothing we can do to help you there. Training to your point, Sal. Yeah, do something that is like a MAPS anabolic protocol. That it's a you know two to three times a week is all you need to be. You don't need to dedicate more than that. So you don't need to be in the gym five to seven days a week for an hour plus. And then the other one, social activities and family. It's like, then that's on you to decide mm-hmm. how important those things are to you currently right now. I think sometimes too that you, you we feel like you have to do those things. Like if I have specific goals, like maybe to knock my degree out or save X amount of money, those mm-hmm. things might suffer a little bit temporarily while I'm getting, you do the things you have to do now so you can do the things you want to do later. Yeah. So if you got to get, if you're trying to get your degree done, you're trying to get, knock that out. So maybe you're not doing the same amount of social activities and maybe as much family time as you would like to, but you also have a temporary goal you're trying to achieve. Yeah, you got to stack them up and prioritize what's the most important items to hit. But uh, I, I honestly, I feel that, you know, this period of your life, you're, you're most resilient for a reason. Uh, and this is, if any time is the time to really stack everything on top of each other, yep. like you can handle this. Like I, dude, I mean, just thinking back about that, it was a whirlwind. Uh, you know, I was uh, full time committed to to playing football. I was full time having to run workouts with that, and had a job, and then a full like you know schedule for school. Uh, obviously, like my family probably was the one that I kind of pushed aside because they were like uh, in California and I was in Illinois. Yeah. So that was kind of easy. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of social life, but uh, you know, it, it's a compromise. So uh, you just kind of got to figure that out. But uh, I mean, do it now so you can figure out how, how to really structure time management uh, and, and deal with it while you're still resilient. That's a good point. And here's the other thing too. I think you realize this as you get older, that when you get a mortgage and a wife and a job and kids, yeah, you it doesn't go back. away. Like no. it just keeps getting piled on. Yes, is you my look, point. You look back, you're like, I remember when I used to think I was busy. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like but I would it, kill for that schedule it, now. Yeah, it doesn't even. That's not even considered busy anymore. Now, if, if I if I had that schedule before, like I had before, it'd be pretty uh, pretty wide open. You have to it, schedule. This is a big one. This is something I think you learn as you get older. Is that you create yourself schedule and you plan things out. So you can no longer just work out when you have an opening. You might have to do it at 5 a.m. every, you know, in the morning or, you know, you can't just drop at the, you know, at the drop of a dime, go out and hang out with your friends. You have to study. This is my study time and I dedicate it at this time. I think if you organize your schedule, you'll find that you could become way more productive uh, with the same amount of hours uh, in the day. 